What's up everyone, it's December 15th, 2020. I'm gonna take you through our workout. We have uh, a few parts to our workout. So the first thing we're gonna do is a two rep, uh, not max, but two reps on the deadlift so we can build up to something heavy. Uh, and then we're gonna get to two six minute AMRAPs with a minute and a half to rest. Uh, so for the deadlifts, we're looking to run a clock for 20 minutes and we're looking to build up to a heavy set of two touch and go reps where we're uh, no re-gripping at the bottom, so we wanna hang on. Uh, today's all about grip uh, and then uh, for the deadlift, we're not doing a two rep max. We're just building up to something that feels heavy that's going to keep us in a good position. So for the deadlift, we start from the bottom and then we're just going to stand up with the bar and then bring it back down to our shins. So what we're looking for in our setup is a vertical shin, hips above the knee, tension our hamstrings, chest up, pointing forward, extend the lower back. From here, you're going to create tension by um, uh, putting tension in your belly and then you're just going to push the ground with your legs and then come to a stand. And again, we're gonna bring back down, the bar down to the ground, and then touch the ground, and then come back up. So we're looking to hang off to that bar be barbell for those two reps. You have 20 minutes to uh, figure that out. Let's take some uh, rest in between your sets. Uh, let let's look to build up to that heavy set of two, um, and progressively get heavier through the 20 minutes. Then we'll take some time off, then we're gonna go into our six minute AMRAP. So our six minute AMRAP is going to be uh, six farmer's lunge, you're gonna hold one dumbbell in one arm and a kettlebell in another arm. Uh, 12 Russian swings with a 53 pound kettlebell and 18 sit-ups. So for our warm up, we're gonna go through one or two rounds and then we'll review the movements. So first things first, uh, 12 plank taps. So you can go into a uh, plank position. You're gonna to touch your shoulder 12 times. Then you're going to grab a kettlebell, light kettlebell, get into a deadlift position. Same, same setup that we did with the barbell, stand up reach down and stand up. Just trying to get the legs ready. So you'll do uh, six of those, and then we're gonna do six uh, goblet squats. And then we're gonna go six Russian kettlebell swings. So we're gonna go into the actual movements of the day. And then we're gonna go with one arm on one side, the suitcase lunge, suitcase lunge. So we're gonna drop down, come back, drop down, and come back. Four on one side, four on the other. So that's our warm-up, 12 plank taps, six kettlebell deadlifts, six goblet squats, six kettlebell swings, and then four and four suitcase lunch. So for the workout, uh, we're looking to go with a dumbbell and a kettlebell. So we're gonna hold the dumbbells and the kettlebell at our sides, and then we're just gonna lunge forward and back, forward and back for six reps. Not a lot of reps, so you should be hanging on uh, the whole time. Then we're gonna go Russian swings in our pockets and forward. Okay. And then we have our at max sit-ups. Okay, so that's our first workout. We're gonna go, uh, the second workout, we're gonna be doing six minutes on the clock, as many rounds and reps as possible. The weight on the kettlebell and the dumbbell is going to be a uh, 53 pound kettlebell for men, 35 pound kettlebell for women, and then the dumbbell is gonna be 50 pound dumbbell for men, and then a 35 pound dumbbell for women. Before we get into our workout, we're gonna practice a new skill. We're gonna grab two light dumbbell kettlebells if you have them, and you're gonna straddle them, and we're gonna do uh, two-handed kettlebell swings. So we're just gonna practice this, see how this feels, okay, play around with some weight, and really just warm up our hips. So we wanna make sure we're keeping our chest up, we're actually adding a lot more weight, and we're actually holding it differently, so we wanna keep that in mind. Uh, but I'll show you a few reps, so we can go in the pocket up, just like that. All right, so we're doing a kettlebell swing, but now we're just using two hands to hold on to the dumbbells and we can actually get a little heavier. So if you can build up to that 53 pound, 35 pound uh, standard, that'll be pretty heavy. What we wanna make sure we're doing is keeping our back flat as we go through and then really emphasize that hip drive or we're driving the weight up. So we'll practice that for a little while and we'll get into the deadlifts and then I'm at con. Modifications, I know we got a lot today. Um, if you don't have enough equipment or dumbbells, a single dumbbell is fine for the farmer's lunge. Um, if you have that, or if you have body weight, we're just gonna go ahead and do regular body weight lunges for that. And instead of kettlebell or dumbbell swings, uh, we can do broad jumps. So you're just gonna start in one position, jump as far as you can, trying to bring your hips forward, okay? And then sit-ups or sit-ups. That's our workout today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and make sure you post your workout